Hi everyone. Muzzles are something that can generate a strong response in people. Some are in favour, whilst others are very strongly against them being used with any dog. In this video, I'm going to take a look at some of the times when a muzzle could be a good idea to use with your dog. So before I go any further, I should say that if you intend to use a muzzle, be sure it is correctly fitting. So this is a standard Greyhound box muzzle and the chances are you were given one of these when you homed your Greyhound. The chances are also that they have been used to wearing a muzzle like this and they may be comfortable wearing it. Some dogs, such as Gandalf here, really don't like their muzzle, so you may still need to do some training to get them to use the muzzle comfortably. I have got a separate video on fitting and putting the muzzle on and off, which I'll link in the comments. So when can it be helpful to use a muzzle with your dog? Muzzles are a form of management, a way of controlling a situation Perhaps training is still taking place, perhaps it isn't possible to train, or maybe the muzzle is more realistic for your situation. The obvious time is when you're unsure of how your dog might behave, and of course this applies in the first few weeks of bringing them home with you. You're perhaps recommended to use the muzzle until you know how your dog is going to react in different situations. If you think they might be going to have something unpleasant done to them at the vet's, they might risk a bite then it would be safer to put the muzzle on if you're going to a different location for a walk and you don't know if you might bump into off lead dogs unexpectedly or perhaps you're going to take them for a play date some examples of times where having the muzzle to hand could be useful the alternative to that as well is that you take it with you on a walk so the dog doesn't wear it all the time, but you have it to hand perhaps for part of the walk where you might be going through an environment such as one where there are more likely to be cats or off-lead dogs, and you might put it on for that part of the walk only. Sometimes, however extensively you train your dog, a situation can arise where it's just too much outside their comfort zone, it's more than they can deal with, and you will still get a reaction despite your best efforts. There's always that unpredictability out there. And for some situations, it's such a rare event that it's more sensible to muzzle than to put a lot of time and effort into training for that situation. So there are times where it can be helpful to use a muzzle if you need one, but you don't have the opportunity or it's not practical to train for it for that situation. So we have those obvious situations where we think that having a muzzle would be a good idea because there is a risk of a bite. But I think that muzzles can serve other purposes as well. And we'll have a think about some of those now. When else can having a muzzle be quite handy? The first of these for me has been that it encourages other people to give me space. So if I have a dog that's going to be wary of other people or other dogs coming too close, I might walk them in a muzzle because I find that passers-by are more likely to give us a wide berth if my dog is muzzled. They probably assume that there's a risk from my dog, where in actual fact, with the muzzle on, there would be no risk. But if it means that they give me the space I need, then it's well worth it. And I have found that that works better than other things such as a yellow bib with a warning sign on it. It can also be a cause of confidence for you, for your dog to have a muzzle. If you're concerned about how your dog might react in a given situation, then the tension that that brings to you can be transmitted down the lead, putting your dog more on edge and making it more likely that your dog will react, even if that situation doesn't occur. So by making you more relaxed, more confident, we can help the dog be more confident on walks. And just putting the muzzle on may be enough to do that. It can also prevent scavenging. Whether we're talking about last night's takeaway wrappers that have been discarded or some tasty chilled goose poop as some of my girls like, it can make it harder for your dog to pick up and eat things that you would much rather they didn't. Sometimes it might be enough to prevent a tummy upset, 
it might be helping them not to resource guard the prize that they scavenge or in the cases of some dogs it can be the difference between safety and a trip to the vet for example the dog that likes to lick or chew on stones who then swallows the stones and needs to go to the vet for surgery another situation is to protect them during travel so having the box muzzle quite solid plastic can protect their snout and their jaw from injury during any incident in the car and last of all it helps you to train safely you can go to places where you might feel a little bit concerned the dog wears the muzzle you can still feed treats to reward the dog through the muzzle so you can use the muzzle while still working on modifying their behavior without worrying about any unexpected events should the worst happen so again it can give you confidence to train in the places you need to train in so some ideas of why having a muzzle can be useful beyond the obvious that's all for today we'll be back again soon with more videos for you bye for now your nose in front of the camera then if you did you stuck your nose right in front of the camera Look out for new videos every Monday and why not subscribe so you don't miss out.